Hello everyone and welcome back to Wing Chun Wednesday. This week, Spencer is going to be teaching Juan Carlos and I an arm conditioning workout that works for any martial arts, so stay tuned. So I'm excited this week to actually learn from Spencer. So we're both here, it's a rare occasion we get both these boys. So let's do it. What do we got, Spencer? All right, so there is a concept in Chinese martial arts called tie bu shan, which means like iron shirt, iron vest, really just bone conditioning. So what you're trying to do is to harden your body, not only to just become stronger and kind of reinforced, but to just be used to withstanding like different types of pressure, different uh -huh. types of shots. Dude, it's your right hand that I'm afraid of. Right <laughs> uh, this is a drill that's going to try and harden and kind of sharpen even your the bones of your forearm and to just allow you to get used to turning blocks into strikes. Let's just get right into it. So, okay. all right. So we're going to get into a, like a horse stance, like a low like straight stance. Just going to face each other, square off, get close. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and hit with this kind of bony part of the arm rather than this like muscly part which is gonna be your first inclination. You're gonna to wanna to hit with this part because it's gonna feel less painful to you. But if you're doing this with a partner, and especially if you're doing this on your own, on some kind of hard surface, then you really just go to your own ability, go with, with what feels uncomfortable, and if you decide that you want to, then you can push into like the pain realm because that's where the real growth is gonna happen. But use your own discretion. This is going to hurt. This is. That's the thing you know going in. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. First, you're going to try and pass through my arm with your arm. We're gonna meet in the center, but really we're both trying to be over past that person. So I'm arm. trying to be over here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so that's the first meeting is here. Okay. Next, we're just gonna pass through. We're gonna hit up here with this bony part. You feel that? Yeah, like this outer bone here. Yeah. Last move is we're gonna turn back down and hit with this lower outer part here. You got it. Okay, so from there, we just switch arms. So one, two, three. Good, and yeah, again. One, two, three, two. You see we're starting off pretty light. We're getting used to it. Don't start hard, just Go at your own pace, you'll start to build like a rhythm after you're kind of used to the movements. And as you get more accustomed to it, as you feel a little more warmed up, cold outside, then <laughs> you're going to start feeling a little more bold and brave doing these movements. And you're gonna to want to push it a little further. Good, remember stay close. Yeah, it's cool. I think you start to feel like a almost rhythm to it as well. Which is very nice. So, since that first strike is really that kind of biggest strike. Yeah, it really is a wind up, isn't it? Yeah. Try not to let these other two strikes kind of fall by the wayside. Ah, uh, that's a good point. They so really try to, like, you can use yeah, try, try and really All right, build okay. that kind of power. Boom. Especially because this is Boom. this is not in like a power zone that you're doing these kind of it's things. It's really not, yeah. I think traditionally people picture like, okay, I'm gonna power. So, okay, Juan, you wanna give it a try? Ooh. Good. Very nice. And so not only is this kind of building that, that arm uh, conditioning, it's like hardening your arms, but it's also training you to try and pass through a target Oh, and to man, develop man. to develop power from places that don't usually have power. So anytime that you're doing some kind of meeting a strike or a block, you can really think of that as an opportunity to try and pass through. And when a block hurts the opponent and you're just defending yourself, that, that's a whole other uh, kind of shot to the ego of yeah. your opponent. I can definitely see that like you Definitely going for a strike and someone striking it down being like 
like your confidence is gone. You're like, oh, that that was, didn't even hit you. I, I didn't even get a chance to hit him, and he already hurt me blocking me. What's he gonna do when he actually makes contact with my face? Like this guy has no remorse for his forearms being in pain because mines are in pain right now. Yeah. And I did a short drill with you. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa. And he's just casually, bam, bam. It seems to be very reinforced. Yeah, the way that yeah. that I would do this with my kung fu brothers was really we'd just be like smashing, smashing into each other, just trying to I bet. imagining yeah. that there's like a center point. And you're just trying to like go right through to it. burst and yeah. explode through that. Yeah. So I think this one, like you were saying before, this initial strike, that I feel it's the a most. Wind up, yeah. It's it has the most power, and then swinging around. This is probably the weakest feeling one. It's yeah, a weird this one, feeling, I, isn't I it? feel yeah, it yeah. immediately shooting right here, but I feel very structurally sound, and then right here. That also, I feel like that's very good, but that yeah. initial, like you said, the meat, you want to yeah. go there, like, and I did is, it the first couple of times, and I'm like, don't do the meat. Yeah. Like, that, that's not good. This, this is a cool concept, too, and again, I, I feel maybe it's more Chinese, like, gung fu type thing, is, you know, the same thing, it's been me and you, we doing our little training, yeah. he's always like, dude, if I'm ever doing, like, Wing Chun, even choreography, yeah. he's just like, I can't, I can't take anymore, because you're just smashing, even, like, the Tansa, you remember the Tansa, yeah. it's just such a, like, a... A painful, you know, cutting yeah. into the arm. Oh, and stuff. It's exactly. Just, it's just meat. You can only take bone to, to muscle so many times before it just it hurts. Yeah. Why so, don't me and you try and you'll, so you'll yeah. instruct us. Before, yeah. before you get into that, yeah, just yeah. talking back to what you said, uh, I think if you hit meat, that just like kind of like gives you like that Charlie horse feeling. It does. And you're like, oh, I can't, I can't <gasps> close my hand. I can't. Yeah, you move actually it. lose control of your body. Which but is I think insane. bone, yeah. like, all right, that uh, hurt, but yeah. you still have function. You know what I mean? So I can see the benefit. Totally, of that. totally. All right, so you, so let's, let's before, you before help us out. Yeah. Okay. I, I just thought of like kind of a another function of this exercise that oh, cool. really, I don't know why I didn't think of this before, that uh, a huge thing that this helps is just your confidence. Yeah. So not only to be able to, to hit something with your arm, of course, yeah. into it, right? but to, to Commit, jump into, in, maybe. into the, into the <laughs> opponent. Not because pull back. this, this second, the second strike especially. It, this is, this is like you're yes. trying to press back. <laughs> yeah, and then I can the, feel that. Yeah, so yeah. all of these, like the first one is like very overt. Obviously, like when we like, like you're going. Oh, for this one. Yeah. So this, you are like becoming like fortified, and then here you're. It's like the domination. Yeah. yeah, totally. I can see that. You Almost like it. a lightsaber. Like you guys are fighting, <laughs> fighting for it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's awesome. All right, so try it out. Okay. Yeah. So let's do right. All right, okay. so. Uh, come closer. It's all right. Yeah. Get so close. Deep right too. here. Yeah. Imagining deep. that center line like in Wing Chun. Passing through that center line. Good. And fill on that second one right here. Not with the back of your hand, but with this. This, this yeah, really. Right this side. Yeah. Okay, okay. Spin it around. Yeah. Right here and then. Okay, yeah. Right there. That bone. Got it, got it. Good. That first strike hit with the bone, not with the muscle. Good. All with bone. All with bone. This is bone condition. This is bone. Bone town. Bone town. <laughs> bone city. <laughs> But it's funny too because I'm I'm wing chunning it. He is like for me. It's a it's a Dai Bang Sao, Tan Sao. Yeah. It's funny you can even apply just like the muscle memory type stuff to it and still get the bone conditioning. Also, a little more subtlety, uh, like a little more like advanced thought on this. Yeah, please. That when we're doing this, like Phil Phil is, is going kind of like in with this, and on the other side of the spectrum, what we're not doing is like a sort of low haymaker. Yeah. We're not trying to like flail, right. but rather we are very controlled. We're like turning our hips, using our knees, and we're just boom, we're just yeah. passing through the target. Gotcha. So don't not, don't be, don't like swing the arm. Right, right. we're not it's going just, like this. Yeah, yeah. And I see similarities to the wooden dummy, just because it's the same thing. That's why Sifu said he loves the live dummies, the ones that move, not the ones that just go pink. It's like, okay, this is a human, yes. If you don't fully commit to this, then you will get much more hurt. You'll yes. Get injured. I, if, I you, if you if you kind of go eh, and he smashes, you're yeah. gonna die. Because then they just smash you rather than right, you right. trying to. Yeah. Pass them. There's no like rebound. There's no force going back into that. Right. Do whatever you feel comfortable with. It will hurt. You literally are injuring yourself when you're doing On this. On purpose. Yeah. So so don't. Uh, 
I am not a doctor. <laughs> this is just a kung fu kind of uh, philosophy yeah. that you can try. Thank you so much, that's an awesome yeah, lesson. That's a great, um, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, uh, really cool, and I'm glad we got to put Spence in like a teacher's chair today, it was really fun. Was um, I think we all learned something here. Yeah guys, if you wanna join this positive community, we really just love sharing martial arts, learning with our friends, and all kinds of stuff between art, gaming, and martial arts. So thank you, subscribe if you enjoyed it, and like it for Spence. You know, he did good, he did good today. <laughs> he did, he did good. <laughs> I like this video, yeah. okay. Take care guys. <laughs>